So I'm delighted to uh, welcome uh, Matthew, Matthew Hartensfeld uh, from Innovation Semiconductor. So welcome on, on, on stage. And uh, Matthew is going to be tell telling us about a very interesting technology for gallium nitrate based microLEDs, uh, a monolithic system. So the stage is yours and yeah, best of luck. Great, absolutely. Well, first and foremost, of course, thank you so much for the opportunity to, to speak today. Uh, and yes, I am the, uh, the CTO of the display startup Innovation Semiconductor, and I'll be talking about the micro LED display uh, displays that we're developing, of course, in a monolithic gallium nitride material system. There we go. Uh, so, of course, uh, Innovation Semiconductor has a strong leadership team with expertise in both the business and technical aspects of the semiconductor industry. And we're backed by a growing team of engineers, which, of course, make it all possible and provide uh, auxiliary uh, and additional expertise. Innovation Semiconductor has developed a number of monolithic solutions to solve critical problems facing the micro LED display industry. So one such uh, solution that we've developed is we looked at the problem of integration between the micro LEDs and the controlling transistor backplane. Instead of trying to leverage a separately fabricated silicon CMOS wafer, we develop a monolithic single crystal gallium nitride solution. So what we do is we leverage gallium nitride MOSFETs instead of high electron mobility transistors because we're able to grow this structure to be much more uh, tolerant and compatible with the LED growth. And so we make use of uh, gallium nitride MOSFETs and then pair them with micro LEDs all in a single wafer. To do this, uh, an NPN transistor stack was developed and integrated beneath that of a conventional LED. Now, utilizing this stack, both vertical and lateral transistors can be integrated with the micro LEDs in order to provide a really compact active matrix, active matrix configuration. In particular, an NMOS active matrix circuit can be configured to control each individual micro LED. And this leads to much higher performance compared with typically the PMOS active matrix configuration, which has been conventionally leveraged when you're looking at pairing a micro LED array over with a standard silicon CMOS wafer. The transistors are made out of the same gallium nitride material system as the micro LEDs, where, of course, the monolithic nature really eliminates the need for a separate silicon backplane. So one wafer, you can have your complete solution. And furthermore, what's really nice about leveraging gallium nitride MOSFETs over high electron mobility transistors is that we can just rely on standard semiconductor growth so these wafers are grown through MOCVD, and uh, you don't have to do regrowth. You can grow it all together in one growth process. And furthermore, standard fabrication can be leveraged for ease of implementation, uh, such that we can leverage uh, selective etching, followed, of course, by standard processes involving uh, deposition of dielectrics and metals and so on and so forth to really build up our structure. But you can do this in virtually any foundry. The vertical LED FET uh, growth and that, that vertical integration really provides for an increase in resolution over many other approaches out there. And then, of course, the gallium nitride material system itself has some really nice advantages over silicon, such as higher electromobility and greater uniformity. And these benefits lead to smaller transistor sizes, faster refresh rates, and of course, because of the wide band gap of gallium nitride, we can operate, uh, we can operate these devices at uh, much, um, much higher temperatures there. And so this is uh, particularly uh, advantageous for looking at high brightness applications. Now, not only can you utilize these transistors to control the individual micro LEDs in active matrix circuits, but these transistors can be utilized for auxiliary support functionality.